How you doing? It's Mac here again. Wanted you take a witness to the progress. It's been a week since I planted my crops and planted some seedlings. As you can see, getting a little progress here. This is my beef feeder right here. It's coming in pretty good. Having a little trouble with my Roma. It's getting some, I think we, hit, we had a little cold snap the past two days in the wet weather. So it's had a little shock. Been going through a little bit of a shock, so hopefully it'll recover strongly. Back off all my uh, watering. Just doing a lot of natural watering, which has been very cool. It's been, a, it's been getting a lot of rain here lately. As you can see, it's starting to get very green here. This is my mescaline over here. I don't know if you can see that coming in very nicely. There's some different color leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. This is, and there's some onions in the middle, in the midst of all that. I'm getting some growth on. Getting some growth on that. Got some corn I had planted over here. And as you can see, it's coming in pretty good. Starting to get some little stalks. And as you can see, you can tell when you got corn because it has a distinctive leaf pattern. And the leaves are very waxy and crisp. Okay. Something growing right there. I don't know what that is, but it's obviously a, a vegetable. Okay. I need to go in and get, take care of some of my weeds and what have you. But I'm trying to be very reluctant. There's some more corn. You can see the fuzz right there. You can see that. There's some more corn. Some clover. You're missing that. That's actually good for salad mix, too. I planted some okra around here somewhere. This is all spinach over here. It not quite came in really good. I think I'm gonna replant some more. Um, this is some squash right here coming in. There's a little bean sprout over here in the midst of some grass and some clover. Uh, there's another. That's a bean sprout right there. That my seeds have been washed away a little bit. I had a lot of rain, so it's, I noticed some seedlings were kind of out of place. But as time goes on, you can fill in any patches of your of your uh, garden with new foliage. You know, you want to you don't want everything to be crowded. You know what you want it to be kind of consistently growing at the same time I think I'm just might throw some more mescaline down and some more spinach try and keep it all together I think I will do that though let's go take a look let's go take a look at our uh, front garden Let's take a look here. Oh, look. We're getting some growth. We're getting some growth over here. I see some growth. We got some clover in intermingled in here. There's a lot of seed over here. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of seed over here. Okay, yeah. Now, this is my time. It's been here for a while. I guess I need to kind of fill it out a little bit, a little, 
your growth over here to get that situated. Start to turn a little. Let's get this out of here. The time's looking good. It's a very light time, actually. Very light time. I'm looking for some seeds of uh, basil and some other seedlings that I planted. Disturbed or clipped by uh, our lawn people. Some more time down there. Looking forward to seeing front lawn coming in. I don't see any new growth. Although that might be new growth, and I just don't know it, but it doesn't look like it is. I've seen that before. start popping up in a minute and some uh, chives and some basil and some parsley I think that parsley is all right through here and this is all basil let's see what we need to go right now uh, I'm sure we will in the next week or so I'm sure we'll see something in another week Week one of the garden. And I will get back with you very soon. Thank you. Have a great day.